filming this real extra look for you today. I use lots of glitter, lots of, lots of, lots of extra, but yeah, but yeah, I hope you enjoy this video, and if you want to see how I became this extra, then keep on watching. So, brows are pretty much same old same, I use the same random brown eyeshadow and a Morphe M158, and I just do my brows. Now I'm taking my Sigma E15 brush and a little bit of concealer and I'm just going to go ahead and clean up under the brow, make it a lot more sharp. Then I just take a little bit of concealer and place it on the lid and blend it out with the same Sigma E15 brush. You want to make sure you really get in this inner because if you miss it when you do your foundation and everything there's going to be that big old gap and that's not really cute. And then to set my lid I'm taking a ColourPop palette and taking this light shade and placing that all over my lid and setting where we underlined our brow. I personally like to pack it on. I know you're probably not supposed to, but that's what works for me. Makes my eyeshadow not crease whatsoever. Taking the Morphe M173 brush and the Morphe, um, what palette is it? 350 which is the most beautiful palette ever. I'm going to be taking, you can even see, this light orange shade and applying that all over the crease. From inner to outer corner. Really packing the shade on. Be sure to blend this out really, really well. I like this. This is like the star of the show, this color. But you want to make sure that it's blended, pigmented, and all that jazz. Now taking a little Real Techniques brush, I'm going to be taking this darker red and placing this just in the crease to define it and bring out that orange a little bit more. I'm blending it upward, but not covering that light orange shade at all. Now with my finger, I'm going to be taking this shade because it is the most beautiful shade I've ever seen in my whole life and applying it to the outer half of my lid. You don't have to be perfect because you're going to be blending over this. I just kind of set it there so I know it goes there. And then with a different finger so I'm not like mixing it, I take this lighter shade and apply that in the inner corner. And they just blend so well together and they're so pretty. I've been loving this look. All my pictures on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, everything is with this eye look. And then I go in with the Real Techniques brush and blend that glitter out a little bit. To make sure it falls nicely. Now I'm going to take the NYX Dewy Nope, not that one. I'm going to take the NYX First Base Primer Spray. I don't know what it is, but lately I've been in such a cartoon mood. Like, I have been watching Ed, Ed and Eddie live stream 24-7 on YouTube. <laughs> I'm just, I don't know what it is. I'm just, I love it. Now taking my Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Warm Nude. I'm just going to apply 
a whole bunch a lot of squirts because your girl likes full coverage. Good enough. And then wherever my brush is, I'm taking the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. Love this brush for foundation. Love. And then I'm just going to be blending this out. I love this foundation so, so much. Be sure to blend this down your neck because it's so full coverage that you truly notice that when it's not on your neck. Then to just go a little bit extra, I take my beauty blender and blend it in and pack it in and all that good stuff some more. I look really white on camera, but I swear I'm not this white. Like, what's going on? Like, what's going on? Do I need to fix my lighting? Is that it? Hold up. I turned it down a little, and I think that helped. I don't look so, so white now that I'm like halfway done with the tutorial. Thanks. And for concealer, honestly, a lot of people don't talk about this concealer. It's the Maybelline Master Concealer, but it's amazing. I, I don't know, it's the greatest concealer I've ever used. And I feel like I say that about every single concealer that I try or use or love or whatever. But I really mean it with this guy. I love her. I love her. And then taking my Beauty Blender, I'm just going to... Blend this out. I don't know if you guys follow mine and Anthony's YouTube, but you should. I'm gonna put it like, whoa, focus, focus there. I'm gonna put it like right here so you guys can go check it out. Um, I really want to start getting into the pranking videos with him, so if you guys have any ideas, hit a girl up, because I'm pretty lost. But I really want to get him good, you know? Like, I, I see all these pranking videos, and I'm like, dang, that's pretty good. Like, they got them. I don't know, I just want to do that. I want to get him. So help me out. Or you can just DM me on Instagram. I'll put my Instagram right here. That way he can't read the comments and doesn't know what's coming his way. Now I'm going to take the LA Girl, Ugh, I can't open it, Pro Powder. There we go. Ooh, I'm almost out. It's in the shade Banana Yellow. And I just take my mini, mini little beauty blender thing, pack a bunch on, and I bake. I love to bake with this. I've been searching and searching for the right product to bake with because a lot of them make me look cakey. But I find this one actually works super, super good. So I just bake with this. I don't pack a crazy ton, but I like a lot. I'm not baking right here. There we go. And I'm about to be in the oven for a little bit. And then I bake my nose and the center of my brows pretty much the places where I tend to get the most oily my upper lip really the sides of my nose you want to get get in there and my chin and this little like what is that it's like right under your lip I don't know I get real sweaty right there TMI then I just take the Cody Airspun powder and translucent on a big old brush and everywhere else that I didn't bake I just set with some loose powder I'm actually gonna hold off on the falsies and just go straight into contouring so I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me powder in coconut or 355 you gotta make that base I think it makes a difference. I don't know. I just dust this on my cheekbones till I feel like I have some definition. 
because my face naturally does not have cheekbones. I have to make them. Then I do my forehead. Look at that. Look at that. Get in there. Get on there. Under your lip, you want to get in there because it makes your lips look bigger and we all know your girl can use some help. I truly never notice a difference when I contour my jawline. I don't notice one single solitary difference, but I still do it because we extra up in here, pinch the brush and just dot it down my nose so I know where it's going and it like lightly applies. I don't know. It works for me. I like it. I do it. I'm just gonna get in there. Perfect. And then I take a why am I out of focus? I take a clean little brush and just blend that out and really make sure it's staying in that straight line. Because I love a snatched nose. And you could be a little bit extra and re go in and like bake the center and the sides so that it's a smaller line and all that. Oops. Yeah. Okay. And then dust that bake off because no one wants to bake to no one. Now I'm going to take the NYX Dewy Finish spray. I love this stuff. It just makes my skin like all of a sudden come alive. I'm really sad that my wing is like really big today because I kind of wanted a short cute one. Now I'm going to be taking my baby, <sighs> doesn't smell like anything, but I'm going to be taking a Real Techniques brush. It doesn't say, oh, it's a setting brush. I think it's for powder, but I like it for highlight and I just dip it on in, in here. And apply it to my cheekbone. And I really like to apply it to the apples on my cheeks because I don't know, that's what I like. Okay, before I get to the nose, I'm going to do everything else because my nose I truly spend a whole lot of time on. Where's my forehead? It's still wet. Okay, so for my nose, I have to like carefully put it on the tip. That way it doesn't cover up any of the contour we just did. And then I'll lightly dust that line straight right there. Because you want the most snatched nose possible. And I did get some a little bit on the contour, so I'll just go back over like that. And that's it. And then I'm going in with MAC Soft and Gentle, which I can never get open with the same brush, and apply it to the apples of my cheeks. And I apply it as blush too, is that weird? And then blend it back. Blend, 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 blend it back. Apply this blush and blend it back. Keep its bow chin above my eyebrows. And same thing on the nose. Lightly dust here. But I, I don't do it down the bridge again. Because I don't want it too shiny there. I just focus on the tip so it looks like a way more snatch nose. And just like that, I do this job in six minutes. Okay, so now that I have my lashes on and I feel poppin', I'm gonna go back in with the Morphe palette and take that orange that we placed in our crease and apply it under my eyes. Only halfway though, and like you can blend it more, but only really focus the product on the outer corner. Okay. 
Bleh. I like a lot, so I drag it downward as well because I like it to look smoked out. Okay, apply too much over here. It's okay. It shall work. Just blend it back. It'll be okay. I'm gonna try taking my powder brush and see if I can clean that up. Okay, good enough. And then taking that dark red that we placed in the crease, putting that in the inner corner, but not really smoking that out, leaving it pretty close to your lash line, just to get that pop pigment of red right there. And then I'm gonna take my Amri Z highlight again and apply that in my inner corner. Sometimes during this step, this is when I would apply it to my brow bone as well. But I'm, I don't know if I'm feeling a brow bone highlight. Maybe not today. This mascara from Essence, I got it kind of some time ago at Ulta. And I love it. Like, I love the wand. I love every single thing about this mascara. It's the most amazing mascara. It's better than the Better Than Sex mascara. I'm sorry, I said it. I said it. Now for my most favoriteest part of the whole tutorial. The glitter highlight is what makes this look so extra, extra. So I'm taking the NYX pigment in 20 it's like a silver glitter and i pretty much just tap it in the lid and this pigment is so hard to get out it takes forever okay good enough have an itch i'm not picking my nose and then i take i'm pretty sure i got this off amazon for like nine cents like it was crazy and i just kind of dip it in and shake off the excess because you don't want excess and then you don't want to like harshly set it, so I just like run it. Run it! That way it all just falls real nice. Same thing on the other side, I just run it. Yeah, that's how I get my glitter to not be so caked. But I also do kind of lightly set it on the cheekbone, or the apples on my cheek. Cause that's where I like the most glitter to me because I feel like that's what people see like the front of your face so you kind of want the glitter in the front and then I place some on my nose just the tip some glitter going keep this bow I only put kind of a medium amount on my chin and then I go back with my powder brush and like dust it off because I don't like the glitter in chin that's just me yeah Run a little bit of extra. I guess sometimes I do it whatever's excess I run above um, my brow bone. Where did I put it over here? And then this is going to lock, oops, to lock in the glitter. I use my Mario Badescu spray. And this pretty much just makes the glitter sit and stay on my face. Now for lips, I'm going to be taking Touch by MAC with just a little Wet n Wild brush. It's just a little guy. And I'm going to be lining my lips. So next I take the NYX Matte Lipstick in Shy. It's really, really light nude, like lighter than my skin nude. And I place it in the center. I do a little bit of that action and apply it in the center first. Do that lip action. Yeah. So this is the completed look. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned some extra tips. And yeah, hope you try this out.